What a world we live in. A world that is filled with people that are judged by their cover. I just had a conversation with a really cool, down-to-earth, Generation z yesterday. Th- this man, in his older years, came through the store. He was really messed up. He was shaking vibrantly. And this Generation z took note of it, went over and calmed him down. He got him to understand that he needed to sit down. He got him water. He got him everything he needed to do. The Generation z because we judge books by their cover. We don't, we don't think people are educated enough. He knew what was wrong with this man. Why? Because he goes through it himself. That man last night in front of the essential job made it a point to tell this Generation z that he saved his life on that day. And that he had been waiting to come back to the store to tell that generation's ear how important his decision of helping people really was. And afterwards, the Gen Zer looks at me and says, you know, most people would look at me and they would judge this book by its cover. They would never know that I care for people. Hey, it's Errol. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. Yeah, I'm a student of life. I have a writing instrument in my hand, and I, I, I write it all. I experience it all. I learn from it all. And if we don't document it, it's forgotten. Just like that. This is the Daily Mess. How many people are living inside your mental attic? Up here, in your skull. Maybe even in here, in your heart. How many people are living in there? Now, there's a big chance that I just gave you an invitation to leave. You'll come back a different day, I hope. Nobody wants to talk about the voices. There's a lot of deniers, assumers, the questioners, the mental abusers. Because we can't see these voices, well, they, how can they be real, right? Well, that's not true. We've just never been trained to build a relationship up with our invisible monsters. We hire mental doctors, then expect them to figure it out for us. Figure it out, man. What do you want me to talk about? Did you figure it out yet? What, what, what's wrong, dude? Come on. Figure it out. I once sat with a medicine man. He told me doctors practice medicine. I sat across from him. I literally was numb, silent. Because what he spoke in my heart was exactly what I needed to hear. Doctors practice medicine. You got to think about it. I mean, just the other day, I was with a specialist because I've got an Achilles tendon problem. I injured it. Oh, I hurt it bad. And I thought being a third degree black belt, I I, I could wishfully think my way through this and, and and make the pain go away. Well, when the body speaks... As loud as it has for the past month and a half, that pain ain't going away. But I I went to a specialist. They really honestly told me they don't know how to fix it. They don't. But through what they have practiced with other Achilles tendons, we're going to try something new. And we're going to try to accomplish success. (laughs) You should have heard the voices in my head. You should have watched all the messages all those voices wrote in my heart. The voices are there. They're very, very real. And they've got something to say. The thing is, is that are you letting your voices be real? And even if you don't believe in what those voices are saying, get them in order. Treat them like a child. Give them some discipline. My late night voice it's not going to create. I'm not going to let that, that late night voice create. No, you create on my time. This is my body. This is what I was given at birth. You've been hanging out with me for a while, but you're not paying any rent. So therefore, until you pay rent, this is mine. It's mine. Just get them in order. Those voices. Build a relationship up with them like a good friend, like a family member. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know how family members are. <laughs> I want my Christmas present, and I'm going to hate you for the rest of the year. <laughs> how many people 
are living inside your mental attic. You're just practicing life, aren't you? Yeah, just practicing. So when are you going to start utilizing the strength that you truly have? Those voices, they're tools. The needle in the haystack. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.